so today we are going to see the confirmatory test of benzoic acid now if this compound is given to you and you have to confirm whether it is benzoic acid or not the very first test which you can do is a flame test as you can see here the compound is coated on the glass rod and you are heating the compound directly now once you heat this you will be able to observe a black color sooty flame or the compound itself becomes black so here you can see a black soot particle carbon particle deposited on the rod now even if you have a doubt that whether the compound is aromatic or not you can perform the same test using a porcelain piece so in spite of taking glass rod take a porcelain piece and put your compound on the porcelain piece heat the compound directly and you can surely observe the black colored sooty flame after heating it here you can simply see the black color flame the smoky flame is there that confirms carbon soot particle and that means that the compound is aromatic so here it would be clear that it's not normal uh, aliphatic compound now further what you can do uh, with respect to the confirmations take the compound and dissolve it in the water you have to heat it a slight bit in order to get it dissolved so just make a clear solution of the compound in water and what you can do is add sodium bicarbonate to it now once you add sodium bicarbonate obviously it will react with the carboxylic acid group and the co2 gas will be released now here you can see the effervescence caused due to the release of co2 gas right so this co2 gas release as you can see in the reaction also that confirms that there is a carboxylic acid group present in the benzoic acid so one more test is confirmed now in order to check whether this acidic group is there what you can do is take a litmus paper blue litmus paper and dip it in the solution of the compound if that blue turns red that surely confirms that the compound is acidic now just you have confirmed the acidic nature we have to confirm whether it is benzoic acid or not so add a neutral fecl3 solution to it as you can see here a beautiful buff colored precipitate will be observed so this brown color or buff colored precipitate confirms that the compound has to be benzoic acid solution and the only trick lies in making the ferric chloride solution neutral because that is acidic you have to add ammonium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide you can see the reaction the buff colored precipitate is of ferric benzoate so i guess with that you are able to understand how to confirm benzoic acid